Welcome to the weekly press briefing of the Kosovo Specialist Chambers, where we aim to provide journalists with an update on the latest developments at the court and the opportunity to ask questions. In the Thaci et al. case, the trial panel issued its sixth decision on victims' participation on 8th of March, and a public redacted version was made available last Friday. The decision can be accessed on the KSC website. In this decision, the judges admitted three new applicants to the proceedings as participating victims. They will be included in the existing group of participating victims and shall be represented by the same victims' counsel. This brings the total number of participating victims in the case to 140. Yesterday, KSC President Ekaterina Trendafilova assigned a Court of Appeals panel to decide on one appeal by counsel representing 19 individuals whose applications to participate as victims in the proceedings were denied, and another appeal by another counsel representing one individual whose application was denied. The members of the panel are Judge Michelle Picard, Judge Emilio Gatti, and Judge Kai Ambos. Following an order from the trial panel in the Thaci et al. case, the prosecution submitted on 10th of March information on the amount of time it estimates will be needed for the initial questioning of the first 12 witnesses in the case by the prosecution, defense, and victims' counsel. The prosecution estimates that a total of 234 and a half hours uh, for the questioning of these witnesses will be needed. According to the rules and the trial panel's order on conduct of proceedings, each witness called by the prosecution will be questioned first by the prosecution. Then the victim's counsel will have a chance to question the witness when requested and if the judges permit. After this, defense counsel for the accused will have the opportunity to question the witness. In addition, according to the rules, the trial panel may also put questions to a witness. Opening statements by the prosecution, victims' counsel, and defense are scheduled to take place on 3rd, 4th, and 5th April, 2023, and the presentation of evidence by the prosecution is scheduled to begin on 11th of April. A status conference will take place on 20th March, ahead of opening statements. An agenda for this preparatory hearing was issued yesterday and can be found on the KSC website. In the same case, a public redacted version of Kadri Vaselli's pre-trial brief was filed this week. The confidential version of the brief was filed in October 2022. The defense pre-trial brief is a document in which counsel for the accused indicate in general terms the nature of the accused's defense, the charges and matters which the defense disputes, and the reasons why they dispute them, and a list of potential witnesses the defense intends to call during the trial. Hearings in the Pietro Shala trial commence, or I'm sorry, hearings in the Pietro Shala trial resume on 27th March at 9.30 with the commencement of evidence presentation and the calling of witnesses by the prosecution. Due to compelling humanitarian grounds, Mr. Hisney, a single judge, instructed the registry to manage a custodial visit to Kosovo for Mr. Hisney Gutsathi yesterday to meet immediate family. The accused remained in detention and in the custody of the Specialist Chambers. ULEX and Kosovo Police supported the Kosovo Specialist Chambers. The custodial visit has concluded and Mr. Gutsathi is back in the detention facilities of the Kosovo Specialist Chambers. Earlier this week, as part of the court's outreach activities, KSC representatives participated in a workshop hosted by ULEX on access to public documents. KSC representatives also hosted a roundtable in Pristina with journalists in order to provide information on reporting about the trials at the KSC.